Hi everyone and welcome to Celery. In today's video, I am going to focus on two of the most important ingredients used by Celery in achieving excellent pricing results, namely cost and minimum price. The first thing I want to mention is that Celery will initially set the cost of your listings while importing the, uh, the inventory from Amazon to 50% from your current listed price, which is the price your item has on Amazon at the moment of the import. Now, both this default setting here and the cost itself can be changed. Why does Celery care about the cost of your items and Amazon does not make it a basic requirement? Very simple. Celery needs it in order to calculate your minimum price so that you'll never sell at a loss. And let me show you how this works. We'll go back to the inventory section and we'll click on the inventory button on the left to see the items. We'll bring up the bottom slide panel by clicking on the little gray arrow at the bottom of the screen. And if you select any item, you'll notice that the minimum price is automatically calculated. It includes your cost, the real shipping costs, your Amazon fees and commissions, and even a bit of a markup and margin if that's what you need. Now, with the minimum price set up, Celery will never allow your prices to be set below this value regardless of any rules you have in place. It's a default lower limit if you want in Celery. If you know the cost of your items, you can easily upload it into Celery by using a simple CSV or Excel file with just these two columns, SKU and cost. And we'll immediately do a test run. If we go back to Celery and we'll go to settings and uploads, we will upload that file. So we'll browse for the file, we'll select it, we'll wait for Celery to read its content, now, if you're using the same terminology as in Celery, the software will automatically map the columns and will display them in green. If not, they will, displayed, uh, they will be displayed in red and you have the option of manually mapping the columns by using the Map Columns button. If everything's in order, you can just select the currency you want Celery to use when updating the cost value and hit the Process Data button to actually upload the changes you want. We will check if the, if the cost upload we just did is complete in the recent uploads tab. And it is now complete. Excellent. Now, of course, you can also manually update the cost of an item if you only have um, a handful of items. In the inventory section, if you select the item, you'll just need to update the cost value in the cost column. Don't forget to hit enter on your keyboard to save the changes you've made. Now, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please remember to always reach out via email at celery at cellarengine.com for any additional questions. Don't forget to check out the following videos as well and learn more about setting up your Celery accounts.